Welcome one and all to Mission SK. Today, I am here with an interesting topic, an often pronounced mantra of bioinformatics. Yeah, that's nothing but BLAST. You may be familiar with doing BLAST like a browsing in web servers, like in NCBI. But for a change, here I am going to demonstrate collecting your own data sets and performing the BLAST, means standalone BLAST in Linux system. Okay, let's go into the topic. For bioinformatics beginners, for whom BLAST is a new word, I will read out the definition of BLAST from his BLAST homepage from NCBI. BLAST is nothing is an abbreviation for basic local alignment search tool and they find the regions of local similarity between sequences. And the program compares nucleotide or protein sequences to sequence databases and calculates the statistical significance of the matches. So to be simple, BLAST will compare your one sequence with a set of sequences, that means from the database. In this information era, data is free to download and free to use. So the same uh, logic is maintained by NCBI. NCBI maintains several large annotated databases that are freely available to public for download. So this it is obvious that you may want to use your own database of your own specific set of data means sequences to work with so uh, instead of going for normal blast by pasting a sequence in a server you can create to your own database by the following steps in this tutorial there are two ways of downloading your own data sets one way is to give a linux command wget the second way is to browse NCBA BLAST database FTP site. Actually, as I mentioned before, NCBA has won their uh, data sets to download, publicly available and it is free of cost. The first way of downloading database is going to NCB FTP site by just sim simply giving NCBA FTP in Google search. So I got my first hit. NCBI FTP site. In that, first click on the first, first hit BLAST basic local alignment search tool. One second. Ah, in that, go click on the folder called DB, then into the folder called FASTA. You can also download a readme file for your own sake. And in that, if you scroll down, you will find a word called NR. So, you can see from the description how much KB size it is. It is nearly 5 GB. And it was updated by Monday, April 2013. It's an example set of non redundant sequences. So, to download that, just click on it. I have already clicked on it and I am halfway of my download. And it is crossed 22% and it requires 5 GB of my disk space, disk space. The alternate way of downloading the database is to create a working directory in your uh, set. I am just creating uh, the directory of name format db. Oh, it is a command right. Okay, I am creating a directory called format in my work working space. In that format uh, thing, I am giving a command call wget and I am going to paste the URL of what we browsed it's simple and we want to include that nr.gz right ah, nr.gz for, for my zip folder and it's retrieving and it goes on so you need to do any one of the thing only either by downloading uh, through browsing of it or I will just paste the URL in the description site you just paste it over in your Linux terminal after wget so you can install it remember you are downloading a file of huge size called format DB or NR so we should remember it may stop partially so to continue the partially downloaded file you want to use an option called hyphen c hyphen c stands for continue 
so if you uh, just use hyphen c in after w get you can continue the partially downloadable file but one thing should be sure your file should be in the same destination folder means the same working directory to format a database we are using format db command so in this case format db and hyphen i means input file our input file is nr and hyphen p is which pa program file means whether it is a nucleotide or a protein so our thing is a protein so we are using t t for protein and f for nucleotide and hyphen v is familiar to us it means verbose okay let's run the program after your format db ra command runs for several minutes you will get the desired output files such as like this means on the nr have been formatted into these many databases and if you view their log file that is format db dot log file we can find the each version have been uh, formatted successfully like volume 0 of 29,000 files right sorry 2 lakh uh, files similarly it have been formatted till volume 8 and you can find a success notification that formatted database nr this implies our our databases have been successfully formatted here starts the main scene of our drama so we are interested to do a blast for that initially we have formatted a database then we want to go into search a query against a, a database so here i have a query see query.fasta let's look into that vim query.fasta so my protein of interest is stream phi alpha i'm going to search against the database of my set of few hundred amino acid sequence length so to do that there is a command called blast all blast all is a package actually and hyphen p stands for the program uh, <coughs> since my sequences are amino acids i'm using blast p for protein and hyphen i stands for the input file and the input hyphen i should follow the path name of your query file so my query is in say the folder format so and that name i have given as query.fasta <coughs> it should follow hyphen d that stands for database and it also should follow path name for database format and nr okay fine then it should follow the e value e value is nothing but expected value the expected value will determine the outlier of your thing we can discuss about the e value in the in few minutes in couple of a minutes and i have given hyphen o for to get my desired output and i'm giving the output file name as result dot out okay let's run the program yeah it's get completed and then after a blast search stops your cursor started blinking after the blast search let's go into the folder and check for our result result file <coughs> i'm opening the result file wow this page might look similar to your online server search when you submit a sequence uh, and select nr database and you will get a say complete set right the similar thing we also got but in linux format <coughs> in vim command we are viewing that um, this is the output from the set we have formatted <coughs> and here are some few terms describing how significant our blast search was so for the beginners of this blast search before going into analyzing that i will make clear some terminologies like score e value identity positivities score is a number used to assess the biological relevance of a finding in the context of sequence alignment a score is a numerical value that describes the overall quality of an alignment and higher numbers correspond to higher similarity 
for example the score scale depends on the scoring system uh, you say it's 28 and the second sequence score is 26 the higher value corresponds to higher similarity then E value represents the probability of alignment occurring by chance it is a statistical calculation based on the quality of alignment and the size of the database for example if an alignment obtained from one database uh, has a value of a particular thing in our case we have given the E value of 0 0.001 do you remember and that is nothing but there is a 0 0.001 chance that an alignment would exist in a database and if the database contains nearly 10,000 sequences then you might expect the alignment to occur maybe 10 times being biologists the other terms identity and similarity might be well known to us anyhow I will repeat again identity means uh, alanine uh, matches with exactly alanine so A match exactly with A that is called identity if if alanine match with some other hydrophobic amino acids like glycine or valine that corresponds to similarity so in our case if you are having 40% 44 percent identity means there are 44 similar sequences are existing there now let's come back to our original result page see match with uh, recall the explanation I have said for each terminology and relate that with our result our score is 2780 means 110 bits 110 bits and e value is 0 that is our first hit when the e value is 0 I, I said that it is exactly matching there is no other that is unique and there is no other match for a similar match as like this and uh, identity is 96 percent it means that 96 similar sequences means 96 identical sequences are existing 96 percent of identical sequence out of 547 nearly 530 uh, sequences are almost similar and positivity is, is 96 percent the same thing so considering these parameters you can choose which sequence is highly homologous to your hit a query and find your homologous sequences ok fine we'll go through once again uh, for the theoretical explanation of blast analysis there are a lot of a number of videos or you can go to the blast homepage for its tutorial if you have any doubt in your pro in my protocol of blast search feel free to comment in the comment box below so that I can address the queries and I'll be happy to address the queries and thank you for joining Mission SK thank you